see you can be down it's like there but it's like not part of the wagon yeah. you gotta go have this garage it's a garage mentality garage chain bridge garage chain it's not on these weights and these bricks <laughs> pieces of like old busted up <laughs> you ever yell at failure bro mm-hmm. you're gonna come to this movie now that we got that out of the way what do I do with my we're just gonna go train thing yeah, yeah. how much help do you think we're gonna get shot uh well we can take it in service I guess everybody has a company is now so uh I don't know what I'm gonna get out here peaking is a process that people get carried away with um if you look really good on the camera there's not a ton of manipulation you should do <laughs> to the vlog how you doing guys and girls today officially two weeks out from the next show which is gonna be Imba Universe in Bucharest and I'm all gas I'm all gas for it last two weeks to get better and better fast forward last week i had a really good progress literally i screwed up a little bit i'll tell you why i was meant to have uh, two days with medium uh, carbs uh, just to <clears throat> wash the fatigue uh, that i uh, gather uh, through the through the prep but being a couple of days on a low carb as soon as i start eating yesterday first uh, few bites of carbs on my breakfast literally i couldn't stop but all in all uh, yesterday I had the lowest weight of this prep, 66 kg, which is uh, is great. It was necessary this uh, carb loading. Now I'm getting ready to hit the gym. The plan for today is uh, a push day, focus on the chest, followed by shoulders and one uh, triceps or two, depending how I uh, how I'm feeling. Yeah, pretty much this is the update and uh, from tomorrow obviously we're going back to the low carb days try to dig a little bit uh, further after so many carbs yesterday with a good pre-workout pumpage from train by gp don't forget about it uh, i'm curious to see how the upper uh, body is gonna look today pumped and full so I just got to the car park at the gym and I'm getting ready to have my pre-workout. On the way to the gym, uh, I remember to tell you about <clears throat> the addiction of the sugar. Yesterday at the breakfast, as soon as I start eating some carbs, I couldn't stop until I literally feel the sugar up to my... Uh, to my neck the body thinking uh, the starving period is finished so the brain doesn't get the signal to stop so literally you keep eating keep eating without uh, without thinking and full of that uh, high amount of carbs that i had yesterday because actually they were clean carbs yeah i uh, haven't had any fast food or uh, shit uh, food I just had more oats, fruits, uh, rice, potatoes, this kind of stuff, yeah. So typically 
the the the, the food choices that uh, I used to have them uh, few weeks back when I still had some carbs and uh, the source of food that I'm gonna use to carb load before the show. So nothing drastically, but because uh, I took them off uh, from my diet for a couple of uh, weeks yesterday because I eat a high amount of them, literally, I felt very tired when I supposed to feel opposite, have more energy. I don't know how to describe is is that feeling when you drink all night and the day after you have the hangover. So literally that was the feeling that I had yesterday. But my stomach feel very locked, very heavy. It's, I don't know, it's weird, this feeling, I have a weird uh, feeling about the, the stomach today. And to be honest, I can't wait to, to go back tomorrow on a low carb days and see how my uh, body react and is changing. And obviously all those feedbacks I'm gonna share with you on the next, uh, on the next video. So I did already two feeder sets. I'm getting ready for my top set. And I'm thinking to use uh, 30 kg dumbbells. Last time when I uh, train uh, with the free weight, I used to push 30 kg for 13 reps. I've been dieting for a few more weeks. So obviously, sometimes you, you lose the strength. Good 11 reps. So we're moving on into the second exercise for chest today. Uh, flat chest press. I was looking for a different machine, but somebody started working on it before I uh, I went there. So I had to come on this one, which is still a, a chest press machine, but it is on the cables. That one uh, that I was looking to use uh, is loaded with a free plate. So I, I really like more that, but as I said, has been taken. So we need to get the most out of this workout with uh, what we got. So I've done only one uh, feeder set here, and now I'm moving on on my uh, first top set. Here I'm gonna do two top sets. So let's see how it's going. just to stay below 12 and stimulate the muscle fiber type 2 yeah one more top set here and then we're moving on into chest flies or chest flies machine see which one is gonna be available
triceps uh, machine, tricep extension machine. We finish with chest. Three exercises, more than enough. You see already the pumpy was there, veins everywhere. So I don't need more than three exercises at the moment. In off season, I might gonna add the fourth one, probably some decline suicide or dips. But now in the prep, I've, uh, I've noticed it's working well for me, only three exercises. Now I'm gonna do three working sets here on this uh, machine. Rep range between 12 and 15, as heavy weight as I can handle with the correct form. workout wrap up I managed to do another 20 minutes of stairs master pretty much this was the workout actually this was the last uh, push workout high volume we are at two weeks out and then next week obviously is gonna be peak week also when you look into the deload to uh, to have a week of the load or a couple of days just deload by cutting off a little bit from your total volume from the week so keep the intensity as high as you can but uh, cut off some uh, working sets still uh, six days still six days with low carbs and as much cardio as i can i try to get rid of, of 
as much fat as I can and then uh, this time I'm looking to do a front carb loading but more details at the right time so stay tuned and uh, I'll share with you more in the next coming video until then I'm out see ya